So what is your business PSI? In other words, how do you shine and grow your business while under pressure? You know, tires require a certain amount of pressure in order to be inflated just at the right level so that they're going to wear and tear properly. And then the tire is going to move you forward wherever it is you want to go. But if you have air in your tire, that's not quite enough. You have to have a certain amount of pressure for forward momentum. And when you think about diamonds, diamonds require heat and pressure, intense pressure to go from coal to a bright shining diamond. That's why they're so valuable. They take time to produce because it's under that constant pressure that they form into such a gorgeous, beautiful diamond. So through this conversation of PSI, I'm going to help you understand what it takes to have the proper level of PSI in your business so that you can ultimately become that shining diamond that shines so bright that at the top of a hilltop, you can become a beacon of light to attract everything that was meant to you and then some. So let's get started. So let's talk about what does the P stand for in PSI? When it comes to your business, it is imperative that you know why you do what you do. Being a business owner and an entrepreneur is no joke. It is hard work. But where does that commitment come from? It comes from your purpose. Tapping into why you do what you do. Let me just share that if you decide to go into business to make a lot of money, you're ultimately going to have a leak in your PSI. You are not going to be able to maintain the level of perseverance, the level of constant pressure and overcoming obstacles that you need to have if you don't tap into a deeper, more meaningful purpose in why you do what you do. So tap into it. What ultimately is going to make you happy and what ultimately is your driving force beyond money to do the business that you're setting out to do or that you're currently doing? If you are able to tap into your purpose on a regular basis, then passion is going to come into play. Passion is like a lighter fluid on a barbecue. If you have passion, you are unstoppable. If you combine passion with purpose, you are completely unstoppable. And you are going to ultimately make severe impact in the world. So tapping into your purpose with passion will give you the perseverance that you need to make the long haul. So that is what the P stands for in your business PSI. Now, the S stands for showing up. Just showing up and sharing your story and your story should tap back into your purpose. Your story needs to be heard. You probably are doing what you're doing because something happened to you or somehow you saw a need and you had the ability to step into and create a solution. And that story of that problem solving solution and experience needs to be shared because people will love what you're doing if they understand why you do what you do. So if you know what your purpose and your passion is, share that with others through story, through speaking, speaking on stages, create your own stage, because if you don't, um, if you really want to drive, you know, more people to you and influence, then you want to create your own stage. And that's very easy to do these days through technology such as live broadcasting. You know, you can get yourself, you're starting your own TV show these days. It's just so much easier than ever before to create your own stage. So share your story, show up regularly. These are the S's. And then once you are speaking more often, you are going to want to get a system which is another S for this S, PSI, system creating around your scheduling because you're going to want to get booked on other people's stages. You're going to want to potentially bring other people onto your stage to continue to elevate your main message through other people's insights, discussions. So um, schedule, get organized with your scheduling through systems, 
but show up regularly and share your story. So those are the S words in the PSI. These are all such valuable things to do to continually keep a very healthy level of pressure in your business. Because if you start lacking pressure, you're going to start sluggishly slowing down and then things are going to start getting off balance and you're going to start feeling more frazzled, more overwhelmed, and ultimately you're not going to be serving your purpose or serving other people well. You'll be forgetting things. So you want to maintain that consistent level of pressure tapping into your purpose with the P and showing up regularly get yourself a system to organize your schedule so you're not feeling overwhelmed so that's the p and the s now let's talk about the i the i is impact ultimately most of us step into business because we have a solution to a problem or we come from a place where we have had an experience and now we want to help others either avoid having that experience themselves or how to grow Quicker, maybe if you're a business coach, you, you've learned what not to do. So now you want to step up and you want to provide impact in other people's lives by shortening that distance between A to B. So that is a great way to, to have impact. But ultimately, also, you want to have influence over them through the words that you're using when you're sharing your story. And that's tapping into your purpose, because if people understand, again, why you do what you're doing, you're sharing your story and you're sharing it well, you're going to ultimately have more influence over them. And you want to do it in an innovative way that sets you apart from everybody else. Let's just say you have had a story where you've overcome the obstacle of A, B, and C. Well, there might be about 10,000 or maybe even 10 million other people that are out there claiming that they know how to overcome A, B, and C. So what is going to set you apart? So this is where innovation comes into play. What can you do innovatively that's going to help you have more of an impression? These are all I words. You want to impress somebody so much when they meet you that they you literally have had impact on them before they even have had a chance to get to know you. So think innovatively. What can you do? In the tech world, this is where gamification can really come into play reward systems you know sending them something back through the mail is innovative these days because people aren't receiving enough physical objects everything is being done all online so people are feeling um, not feeling that human touch they're not feeling that physical presence so what is it something that you can send as far as a gift to provide impact and influence over those whom you're hoping to connect with and deepen that and in, in relationship with Being innovative in your approach to, you know, providing more value to those that you've met, those that you've already met and are doing business with, or those that you're hoping to partner with, think innovatively, and that'll provide you with far more impact and influence, which is the big win because you need to have all of these ingredients in the PSI, or you think in the tech world algorithm, you want to have all of these aspects of the ingredients to make the perfect balance of PSI and pressure so that you're growing, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone on a regular basis by showing up more, being willing to be on camera more, doing more video content. These are all like part of sharing your story and being innovative and in how you go about sharing your story. So the right level of pressure is ultimately going to refine you to become such a bright shining diamond so that you shine like the star that you are. And then we can elevate that through different technology platforms like television and broadcasting your message live over internet radio or podcast radio or just hosting your own summits online or offline. You can do combinations. These are great ways to take that diamond that you formed and help it to shine so bright like a beacon, a beacon of light that cuts through all the digital noise and shines so that you attract, you attract everything to you that you're meant to have and on provide even more impact for those that come to you for what it is that you have that they need. So that is my overarching recipe and algorithm for maintaining the proper PSI balance in your business 
under pressure so that you can shine really bright and have long term success. If you would like to learn more about how you can stay relevant and competitive in a rapidly changing digital era, please reach out to us and join our heart-centered forward-thinking community at techwithheartnetwork.com. If you would like to start shining brighter and speak on our stage, we would love to host you on our Tech With Heart show. If you have something to offer that would give value back to our heart-centered entrepreneurial audience, Go to techwithheartnetwork.com and join our membership there and reach out to me and let's have a chat. I'm here to elevate you and support you in your mission and in your purpose to spread your message and to shine really bright. Here's to your success.